Hey, 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 all my crafty friends. I am uh, coming to you with the replay of the live that we had last night. Uh, so every Monday, um, hopefully, I will be going live at about 8.30 to do a story or two in my October daily in the month of October. So, and I think, well, I've already missed one Monday. I missed the first Monday. Um, but there is, there was five Mondays in this month. So we have four more. Um, super excited about that. Um, and hopefully by, and then I probably, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens in November, right? Um, and then I am planning on trying to do this for the month of December also, um, for December daily. So, all right, guys, so you will see in a video coming up that I did cover the outside of that album with that, um, I think it's American craft paper. It's just red and or black and white dotted paper. So, but we are starting on story four. Uh, we're actually going to catch up here pretty quickly with story four and five with this video. Six is done and that will be the next video. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's only the 10th, so we're getting there. I'm super excited about that. Um, this first story was supposed to be a real quick one, uh, but you'll see here coming up that I had a little bit of issues. <laughs> um, my, I should have cut this out at the beginning. I thought I sat there and, you know, this being my first live, I was like, should I be cutting all this out? Or was this a good time to be, you know, chit chatting with people? Um, which I do want to say thank you guys so much if you did come out and sit with me through this. Uh, that was so much fun. Um, for everybody that always is like, yeah, I could never go live because I can't talk and craft at the same time. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That is, it's not the easiest all of the time. And now I can see why crafters sometimes can't keep up with the chats and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because... Not that I made mistakes. Um, I think I went, I did make one mistake in this one, but it was a very easy fix. I forgot that I need to do a flip out and I, you know, I'll, you'll see where I have to pull it up. But, um, but yeah, so if you feel like I'm talking with my hands, that is why I, I was talking. <laughs> um, so, but it was so fun. But anyways, okay, so we are doing story number four with um, my outdoor decor. Uh, this was a big enough story because we added several things to our outdoor decor this year um, that I will probably have to do another story, which is fine. I don't believe that I'm going to have 31 stories of 31 different things. So indoor, indoor decor can be another day. Um but we, I definitely wanted this to be a flip out, like a full page. So it's actually, it doesn't end up being like a full spread. Um, it ends up being one side of a traveler's notebook. So five, and then the full page of a seven by 8.25. So all in all, it is a 12 by 8.25. Like I said, I probably should have cut these out. Um, because I don't know, I mean, let me know if you, if, if you are in lives a lot, do you, you think it's a waste of time to be cutting things? Um, do you not want to see, obviously that adds no value to the video, but it definitely allowed me to like settle in, I guess a little bit. Um, where's it going? Oh yeah. Um, so my flip out is going to be the, the mini pictures of this. Um, all of the first three pictures are, 1.75 wide, I think by like almost two and a half, I believe. I can't remember exactly what the dimensions were, but I do remember they were 1.75. There's my issue. My pictures didn't line up. My house was wonky. <laughs> I don't know what happened when I cut it. Um, I thought it was going to be just the one side. So I cut the one side and then the other side was off. So you will see here that I had to recut everything. So hate when that happens. I also took this um, at the midday instead of either at the morning or at night in our house at this point definitely sits in half shade, half sun. Um, so it is very hard to get the white balance on our house. Um, so I don't love how it kind of turns up either really sunsetty orange or blue. Um, that's just something I can't completely correct at this point, but, um, I'm not going to worry about all of that. That's not the important part. So 
while that was printing during the live, I was like, well, let me get these matted. <laughs> so I did want to mat each one of these because I was putting them on uh, that gray pattern paper that you've seen. Um, so I wanted them to pop a little bit. There was no journaling on this page. Honestly, I think the pictures stood for themselves. I could have talked about a couple of the new additions, um, but yeah, I didn't really think that it added to the page and I didn't want to add any more bulk to do another flip out of one of the, you know the pictures or anything but oh also the flip out for this page the front of it is uh Tracy Reed's um one of her TN collect or TN signature uh files uh it is <laughs> I kept on thinking all day it wasn't uh, focusing, but it definitely was. It just wasn't clear on my side for some reason. Here I am figuring out it's still not adding up and it was almost there, but I would have had to cut a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom and it was just going to cause more issues. So I just, I probably could have ran with it because, you know, they obviously don't go right together in the album. The rings separate it, but again, I just reprinted it all. Um, but anyways, back to the flip out. I did in Photoshop, um, her TN signature papers do come at 4.25. Um, and I did not want the flip that large. So um, I did resize it down to 3.75 by 8.25. I kind of think that that three to three and a half mark is pretty much the perfect flip out size. Um and therefore that's what I did. So I was deciding between this gray uh, plus paper and again that black spot paper. Um, here both of them kind of they look fine but I felt like the black and white was a little too busy. Though I liked the black and white because um, because the TN paper was black and white so all in all, I decided to go with the gray. <laughs> yep, see, here I am explaining. Also, let me know if you guys um, do like me kind of re-editing these videos. Um, I get the idea from Christina Warner. She's a card maker, and when she does her lives, she does go back and re-edit them, cut them down, because obviously the lives are about an hour and a half long. And th yeah, there is days that you know when I'm cleaning and I just want one video so I don't have to keep on coming back to pick a new video um, that I will listen to a whole live all over again there's probably not many of those that love to just watch a live and me talk you know because all of the talking it will still be up on my channel um, I obviously will not delete it off the channel uh, but you have the option of this and the live so here I'm pointing out that my little guy was just in the window of that one. So I kept it. I ended up taking that picture over again without him in there. And I'm like, no, you know what? It's part of the story that he was in the window waving at me while I was taking that picture. So this setup actually stayed up for quite some time in September also. Um, and then we added to it once October 1st came along and her first weekend in October was absolutely gorgeous. So warm. We were all like, oh my gosh, this is not October. And then a freight train has come and hit um, Michigan. And it is freezing cold and has rained for like every day straight. <laughs> um, and our poor decorations are taking a hit. Um, you know, I, we only use those little fake tombstones and the wind and the rain on all the spider webbing we're gonna have to redo here soon uh here's where i make my mistake right there um i forget that i need to flip i figure it out here in about i think 35 seconds and i'm like oh no i need to flip and i had just told everybody there i am just told everybody like do not make a mistake when you use this score tape because it is tough to get back up luckily it hadn't been that long and yeah, it came back up. I, I messed up that TN paper a little bit by creasing it, but it did pull up. So, all right, making this flip up again. If you've seen all of my videos, you know, I make flip ups with copy paper. It is way stronger than washi tape. My washi tape, when I make 
flip outs ends up wearing down and splitting kind of like it does when I make when I use washi tape with my stamps pretty much um, I use washi tape to make the flip of the plastic so I don't lose that plastic all the time um, and it ends up ripping um, and so I just don't think that it's the most stable thing so I use copy paper literally like 22 pound copy paper nothing strong so that it also doesn't cause bulk um, I seen unfortunately another crafter the other day that was using like 80 pound and I'm like oh my gosh like your flip out I mean yeah it's gonna last a hurricane but <laughs> like that adds a lot of bulk um, this allows the page to lay flat and um, still be able to fold and um, be strong so using that barely earth glue finally seen a dent in that now that I've been like crafting every day um, I've also been making some Christmas cards and Halloween cards so using that a little bit more all right here's the moment of time like I was like okay we're, we're just going forward with this new print see this day it was like clear blue skies but let me tell you if you look closely at those pictures like decorations I had to put everything back together to take this picture <laughs> pretty much I had taken one uh, but I didn't love the picture and I hadn't gotten uh, a good view of the porch in that picture also had like trash cans in the background um, so I went back and took it again so but yeah like my witch's hats were blowing everywhere now the goal is to decorate for Christmas as well as we decorated for Halloween we always do such a great job because it's warm for Halloween <laughs> and then uh, we fall apart for Christmas and yeah we do need to add some more lights here soon I'm hoping to get that done this weekend no matter how cold or rainy it is we need to get some lights going all right so that was pretty much the end of that I am gonna add uh, some phrase stickers uh, it was a consensus last night that your phrase stickers do need to make sense. <laughs> we were talking about that, how some people just use phrase stickers for the decoration. And I'm like, I cannot in my head. Like, it looks great. It does. Like, it still looks great. Who cares, I guess, what the saying is. But in my head, it, my phrase stickers have to make sense. So it was just a funny conversation that we were having. So I was forever going through these. These are from Studio Calico. I, I don't know if... Uh, I see so many people have these because I think they had like a huge surplus of them at one point and they were like selling them for like a dollar on their website so I feel like everybody and their mother has these but I think they finally got rid of them out of their warehouse but yeah just adding a little something onto that again like I said I wasn't um I, I wasn't worrying too much about it um I was kind of sad that they were so small and these pictures are such good pictures of the yard um but, you know, you can only add so many pictures, I guess. So the, one of these pictures might show back up in the album, printed a little bit larger soon, but we'll see. Adding these um, tabs, I was running into every single sticker I was pulling up was said spooky and the TN already said spooky. And I'm like, how many times do I need to say spooky on one um, layout? So that's why I was switching. Uh, so I've already used one tab, as you can see, I believe on day two. Yeah. And that tab keeps on coming up. So I had to end up going in and stapling it. I have seen a couple of other creators that have had issues with those tabs coming up too. So I just took my tiny attacher and stapled that down to make sure it stayed. Here I am kind of debating if I wanted to decorate the full spread. Um, I still might go back and do that. I don't know. We'll see. It looks good here, but I feel still like that full page picture needed a little something. And there was one sticker on there that was like a checklist and I could have been like tombstones, zombies, you know, check and did that some. We decided on this um, sketch number four. This is also a Studio Calico number, I believe. I have a million of these because I love them. Um, I also still want the stamp. I didn't think about this though before whoops ahead of time and couldn't staple this down so we just used a little bit of liquid glue where the black was and put that down and it will be good the last thing on the spread was um i felt like it was still a little bare but then i didn't want to add a random bat because this was spiders um i ended up adding the bat and being like it's good to go 
So, and we leave it. I hemmed and hawed about this. Like, I almost or added an orange, but then I was like, if I add one thing orange, I need to add more things orange. And sometimes it's just, you gotta leave it. <laughs> so here I am. I'm like hemming and hawing. And I, I did like that. I could have put that down, honestly. I think the reason I didn't put that down is because it did say spooky. Yes, it said spooky again. Everything I was touching said spooky today, this day. <laughs> I was like, we don't need... Oh, that looked actually decent too. Isn't it funny how when you step back and you kind of look at it from a different angle, you're like, oh, that did look good. You could have just left that there. But I ended up putting the bat and saying it's good. Where the spread shouldn't have taken me this long. It definitely did. You know, things don't go planned. I think it looks great. Yay. Day four is done. And that one had to be stuck to another spread. So I was like, yeah, we're not going to do the holes yet because I need to line up. Let's move on to the next. All right. So here is story five. And this story is, and I say story because day this was actually day four. Uh, it doesn't matter what day, what story. It's in the album, right? Um, so this is actually one of my first spreads in a very long time that I didn't completely um, design in Photoshop first. I kind of just picked out a few papers, printed them off, printed off my pictures, and scrapbooked like a real freaking scrapbooker, right? <laughs> um, oh, we were getting... I had... I kept on sticking to everything. Um, so we just used, it's hard to see here, but this is just an AE grid, um, AE by Ellie Edwards, um, grid that was in a paper pack forever ago. I have no idea when. Um, and I found it in there and now I've kept it separated so that I don't have to go looking for it every time. And I use this grid for my backdrops all the time so glad that I did and not just used a regular piece of white paper because when I went to go stamp the title made stamping so much easier <laughs> so that I could keep it straight. I had these two three by four pictures learning that three by four was probably a bit big but it ended up working out. We probably could have went by two and a half by I don't know what that would equal but uh, maybe three and a half I don't know. Um, I could have went a little bit smaller though, but so here I am. I think it takes a little bit more hemming and hawing, especially on lives, but I kept on going and I'm like, you know what? You're going to do this and everything's going to be okay. Not everything needs to be planned down to the T. I had a vision and an inspiration to go off of. Um, I was kind of using a sketch, but I had turned the sketch clockwise, I think 80, 90 degrees or something like that. And I was just using elements from the sketch pretty much to get me there. So. So from my story one, if you'd been watching the videos, we went to the cider mill and we, instead of picking pumpkins, we picked apples because um, half of our family already had pumpkins. Hopefully we go today and get pumpkins. I'm going to try. Um. And so we had 10, we have, we have 10, well, we don't have it anymore. We probably have about five more pounds of apples left. And so any time I'm, I'm trying to get rid of those at this point. So, all right. So now we kind of figured out the placement of those papers are from the Tracy Reed's album Enchantment, I believe. I think that's where me and Teresa, when Teresa was on my live, I was like starstruck for a minute um, and nervous at the same time. But she's amazing. I love her. Um, but yeah, thank you, Tracy, for joining in. It was so fun having people in Christina and um, oh gosh, there was a few Pam chimed, um, chimed in. It was just it was fun. I'm so excited to see it grow. Hopefully more and more people come in as it gets a little bit more on the regular side. All right, so I'm just cutting down this orange paper to the size that I need it. And honestly, I just cut. 
<laughs> I don't know what the measurements were. I just made it so that it, it was coming around the border a little bit. So this one I did cut to about an inch. I knew I just wanted this. This was just a peek out pretty much. And then you will see here in a minute that I just tear the top of the paper. Again, another element that I kind of just pulled from the sketch. I liked that I needed that to that color to pop in a little bit more. Um, and so that allowed that to um, do that. I do wish that this little strip would have moved over just a smidgen, but we worked with it again, something that, you know, when I don't have it designed completely in Photoshop, you kind of just work with some, Oh, I'm looking for that darn adhesive eraser. <laughs> I swear. I was like, I just had it two seconds ago. It was over under, you know, something again, as you can see my desk starts getting pretty messy. Oh, I found it. Um, pretty messy when I am crafting. I am not a clean crafter. I am getting better at trying to put things away when I put it down. But as you can see, um, like my adhesives and my scissors are the main two things. So we are going to pull out this autumn stamp set. That was probably a year, maybe even two years from L studio. Um, as I want to stamp that circle with the heart, um, which is pretty, that, that stamp is pretty iconic in L Studios world. I was trying to figure out what color we ended up going with lost shadow. And really, I just wanted that to peek. Yep. Peek over and kind of go off the page onto that side. Um, and I think it worked out perfectly. I need to use this idea more, honestly, for backdrops. <laughs> And I loved it. So there we go. Oh, I haven't even tore it yet. I think I was doing this part first so that I didn't stamp on the tear. I'm not positive. We're going to put that down. I honestly felt like a full physical scrapbooker doing all this. There we go. We're going to tear that so that I could peek. Look at, I loved that. I absolutely loved it. I'm definitely going to be using this technique a little bit more. You can definitely do that in Halloween and fall type stuff. Uh, I mean, not that you can't do it in, uh, you know, December daily stuff, but you can, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I think the grunge look looks way better, you know, for Halloween kind of stuff. So worked out perfectly. Now we are going to pick some stamps. And I was going to go with not the Stanley because I didn't think that the Stanley was going to look all that great. Uh, but we decided that we were going to work with Stanley. Stanley and Iris. Um, we talked about lots about um, Carrie Bradford's stamp sets lately that she has been absolutely killing it. And I used all of the capitals of this one. This um, Iris is probably my main stamp that I'm still upset that I didn't get the bigger one for. And I'm still putting out hope that maybe she'll put out an extra large of Stanley too, uh, because I could use one size bigger of Stanley also. Uh, but I am using all of the, um, capital letters of Iris pretty much. That's where I was getting to, um, to do Apple. Um, I was terrified that I was going to make a mistake here because I was going, I was spelling backwards. I kept on like double checking my, um, my spelling like 45 times, but yeah, so we did that. And then I used Stanley for caramel and then actually went back and used the lower case version of Iris to do the bar. So could if I would have changed anything, I probably would have done caramel apple and all Stanley and just use the lowercase for bar still of Iris. Probably the only thing, but it came out perfect. And you'll see I am just using Versafine for the black too. Um, I need to get a new black stamp pad from close to my heart. Um, I have the archival black and unfortunately they don't have a reinker of that. And I did not know that. So I did try and just do it with intense black and just like 
oxides and distress, regular distress. It is two different inks. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, I did know that. I just didn't know that um, they didn't have an archival ink reinker. Um, and so, yeah, it's not the best ink pad anymore. It works, but I definitely wanted this crisp. So we just used Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Here we go. Guys, that Stanley is just the perfect stamp set for October Daily. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just wiping all my inks off on the... Um, mine is actually like a car wash one that I have cut into. It's not a stamp chamois like all of the other ones. Okay, there we go. There is my lowercase of the iris and I think it came out perfect absolutely perfect I was so excited so excited and then the last part of this is just going to be um putting some embellishments down uh putting a couple of the oh what are those things called just the little Bobble, not bobbles. I don't really know what they're enamel dots. There we go, enamel dots. <laughs> and looking for enamel dots because I couldn't figure out where any more of the yellow ones. I wanted more yellow to bring out that yellow. Also, I don't know what my embellishment pen is not working. I got to figure that out. It doesn't stick. So anybody that can help me, let me know. I just got it off of Amazon and it's not sticking. So maybe I need to send it back. I don't know. There we go. Yes, I couldn't find the exact color of enamel dots that I wanted. So I ended up going to my L Studio ones and still not doing the best ever. Picking my number here. Oh yeah, that was the last part of it. I ended up going with this five. This five is from Allie Edwards, who knows. Um, <laughs> I've collected so many numbers over the past couple of years. Every time I get a set, I'm like, I just throw it in there. I have no idea when this, this is an old, I think, December daily a couple years ago. I almost used that five because it was like the perfect, it was a little bit too light, uh, but then it ended up being too big. So we just chose this number five and finishing up this project. Thank you guys so much for, uh, hanging around for this video. Again, please let me know if you like the replay version and me just going over and condensing the hour and a half down to under a half hour. Um, I think a half hour for two good spreads is pretty doable. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and yeah, I just want to thank everybody again that uh, participated in the live. And again, I'm going to be trying to go live in every Monday and finishing up at least one to two. I'm going to try two projects, but if, you know, one project's a little bit longer, then, um, we'll definitely split it into just two different videos. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment below though, if you like me, uh, kind of re-editing these and putting them into two different videos. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.